I'm Charlie Boyd. Oh. I'd be the fourth generation from our family that's been in the purebred cattle business. Not many people, I don't believe, in the eastern, you know, east of the Mississippi River can can stay in the purebred livestock business for over a hundred years, and I think that's relatively unique. My grand, great grandfather and grandfather were horned Hereford breeders. My dad transitioned to, to polled Herefords, and uh, and then as I came along, we incorporated the Angus cattle and still maintain the the Hereford herd. So both sons, Blake and Logan, have a passion for both breeds, and it makes it exciting to to be able to continue on uh, what uh, the family has done for a long, long time. We're all family labor here, so we, we all do a little bit of everything. And uh, being the, one of the younger ones here, uh, I kind of kind of work my way up the ropes. So uh, trying to learn from the, the older generations and, and my father and, and what my grandfather taught me uh, several years ago as well. I think the main goal for us is to try to make sure that our customers are profitable and that the cattle fit their environment that they go into and that they're problem free cattle that add value to them and their, their calf crop at the end of the day. We try to breed cattle that work uh, in every segment of the industry from the cow calf man to the feedlot to the packer and to, far, to our fellow uh, registered breeders. So that's, that's what we do here and we strive to do the best we can with that every day and try to make every generation better than the last. We treat both breeds equally in terms of our approach. Uh, we try to make a balanced product and I've never believed that extremes were good in, in any trade or in any species. I guess first we kind of strive on phenotype and making sure the feet and leg structure is good in the cattle and that uh, they have a lot of look and from there um, cavities, optimum growth and mature size along with uh, uh, carcass quality as well and uh, something that's very paramount in this program is the maternal end of it and uh, we're very proud of our cow herd and the, the longevity and, and maternal productivity that they have. You know, our goal is always our customers first. We hope that they don't have any problems. We hope that our genetics uh, propel their programs forward. And one of the things that we really pride ourselves on is our customer service. It'll vary from our average customer can be a guy with uh, 50 cows or they can have 500. And so we have a diverse uh, clientele. So we have to take a multifaceted approach. As far as customer service goes, we follow up with uh, our customers throughout the year and uh, as far as a, from a commercial standpoint, we, uh, we assist them in marketing some feeder cattle. Uh, we have a feeder cattle sale that's uh, primarily targeted to a smaller commercial cattleman that can't make a, a load by themselves, so we pull uh, cattle that are alike and they're, they're kind together and help them get that premium for that and I've been doing that for a few years with good success and helping them gain a, an additional premium for selling a load uh, of cattle with good good genetics uh, for gain and grade and uh, they've, they've enjoyed that and we, we have too. We believe in following up with our customers with a phone call to see how their cattle are doing or if we can help, uh, and emails. Uh, I think we believe that you stay in contact with your customers and, it, and it, we, have a, we have a high percentage of repeat customers. I think our customers value basically the relationships we have with them and, and the success that the cattle have, have done for them. So it's, it's been good and you know the cattle business uh, is, is really as much as a people or more so a people business. And, and that's what makes uh, the purebred livestock industry unique compared to, to other occupations in, in this country, in this world. I consider myself very lucky. I, I have some friends that would love the opportunity to come back to a family operation but maybe weren't able to do so. And uh, I'm really lucky that the opportunity was here. I'm doing what I love to do and I've always wanted to do and uh, just kind of chasing my passion every day. And so I consider myself uh, really blessed. To work in a family operation, there's nothing like it. I've, I've been blessed to be able to work with my dad for a long, long time and my great-grandfather. I was fortunate enough to 
as a little boy know and work with he and my grandfather and now to have Blake and Logan as part of the operation and my mother and Paula my wife it uh, it's pretty neat to wake up every morning and not have to go to work.